journey. Hmm. Yeah, I want you to join the crusade. I've watched you. You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but hmm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, hmm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Hmm. It helps us as politicians. Hmm. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know, Papa. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what you used to fan mm. uh, 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 charcoal. Mm. <laughs> you, right. you, you've seen it. Right. right. When you fan it, then I, the charcoal uh, bright red. This is a, uh, and then it's it's a core fan... accountability. <laughs> <laughs> you fan government's charcoal. Mm -hmm. It's bright it's, red. It's a core for accountability. I enjoy it. No, I think literally and figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pricks the conscience very quickly and sharply. Okay. So certainly a fantastic avenue for a great editorial and one that literally wakes us up. This is our society right. and it will take me and you mm. to do it. That's why I always watch Donnie's Bite. <laughs> the general watches Donnie's Bite. Very, every day. Thank you very much. And I is devoid of insults, mm. but straight to the point, mm. factual, I'm fearless. What he seeks to do is to bring attention to some of the ills or some of the problems that we have. Mm. And um, even though it's often very spicy, I was telling him mm. that he could add some ketchup on the side. Oh, you should add some ketchup. It's too hot for <laughs> you, too eh? Hot. I don't get surprised when people criticize you. But I think you are doing a good job. Thank you, sir. And don't at all think about what people will say continue with the objective work that you are doing and definitely it will help this nation because you are not doing it for yourself but you are, what Ghanaians cannot say is what you are saying it will not be joke. You know, the pressure joking. people like Johnny can give you. No, no. You know, get gray hair, you I'm, get gray hair. I'm, I'm innocent. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That the pressure Johnny and his people, <laughs> mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you, you know, get gray hair, you go get. So your best bet is not mm. to have hair. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Hasban Allah wa Nima Wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Good morning. It's a rainy morning. It's wet, so... I trust that you are keeping safe and secure from all alarm. Well, we're back again, and I trust that you are doing very, very fine. I am fine in high spirits, even though you have transportation issues, you have electricity bills coming at you, you have water bills, you have pressure from the landlord, you have you know, uh, pressure from feeding, children's school fees is coming up, extra classes, fees, uh, accommodation, clothing. You have all those things hitting at you, but still we move. So the hashtag is Johnny's Bite. Johnny's Bite is the people's bite. And our hashtag that we're using now, and we're trying to fish out all those who are due for retirement who have refused to go, we say, let the retirees go. Hashtag, let the retirees go. Join the hashtag, let the retirees go. Let the retirees go. Let the retirees go. Let the retirees go. That's our hashtag. Because as young people, we cannot continue to sit hungry and worried and traumatized, the mental torture, knowing that there are people who have served for more than 30 years, 40 years in some cases, and they still want to hang on. Yesterday, I was telling somebody that if IGP upon Bueno had not gone, how would we have seen young Dr. George Ekufu Dampari, who is now IGP? If IGP upon Bueno had not gone, how would we have seen young Dr. George Ekufu Dampari, who says the police is not corrupt, but has not shown us any scientific proof? How would we have seen him? So, Mokwaya ni Mokwaya, but that's all. Obin Konu Obin Bra, that's all. And if it is your time to go, you leave when the applause is loudest. You don't stay on. Today, I feel very, very sad because all the people who were told to remember me 
and all the agitations and all the meeting with the deputy chief of staff and all the demonstrations and all the, all the things that they did, the Napconians, they are coming home and they are told to hope. We were told of a hope campaign in 2016. But if you ask them individually, they have no hope. And yesterday I told somebody that, you see, some of us will advocate for you, but a house divided against itself will not stand. Within that same NAPCO space, there are two categories of people. There's one side who have decided that whether good or bad, they will not change. They will defend the government to the hilt. They will speak against their own people and they will make their own association look very bad so that a few of them will look good in the eyes of the government so that they can, be, they can continue being tied to the apron strings of those people and then they can get what they have been getting. And then there are those on the other side who are genuinely concerned about their future who are genuinely concerned and demanding for the permanent job that was promised them, who are genuinely asking the government to remember them, who are genuinely saying that this is not what you told us. So when you have two sets of uh, 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 groups, in one group, a house divided against itself will not stand. And that's the problem of NAPCO. Because when you all say, Yes, there's more power. When you, some of you say yes and others say no, the power is diminished. And the government will even think that you are not serious. Listen to the tone of the letter that was written to them. And I want to say good morning to Dr. Anyas. His claim to fame was NAPCO. The praise and worship songs and the Bible verses that the President Akufado quoted at the Independence Square should be playing now. He says, this is the day the Lord has made and we should rejoice and be glad in it. The president's own words. He quoted from Holy Scripture. Today, is it a day that the Lord has made? Yes. Will NAPCO beneficiaries rejoice and be glad in it? I don't know. They will have to say. Now, it says, dear training, greetings from the NAPCO Secretariat. Your time on the NAPCO scheme has been valuable and impactful. As you exit with the wealth of experience, there is an added advantage to consider private enterprise as a career option. Added advantage to consider uh, what you call private enterprise as a career option. Where is the capital? That's the first one I ask. Two, your skills development program will aid your progress under the entrepreneurial You Start initiative to develop your ideas further into a viable business. More information will be made available from NAPCO and stakeholders in due course. So they are going home, just like we asked them to stay on. They are going home to go and wait for information that will come in due course because they have not been directed exactly where to go and to say that you can apply to so-so and so and you are entitled to get so-so and so amount and these are the options that are available to you and these are the business mentors that we have made available to you and they will hold your hands and guide you and we will even put you in grouping like we have done for community mining and all those um, masquerading things that we do. Read. It says, equally on any outstanding stipends, expect any valid payment and notification via the same means after validation and verification, district and your MIP, once all the funding arrangements are concluded. So the monies that are owed them for all these months have also not been given to us. So they are literally going home to either drink the air and chew stones to survive. That is how wicked we are as a country. That is how wicked we are as a country. And you see those young people on those NAPCO pages who decide to insult media houses, who are advocating for the young people to be able to get. When you were given the NAPCO opportunities, we broadcasted it. We broadcasted, we put it out there. When you had your ceremonies at the Independence Square and the rest, we broadcasted. I know the NAPCO story off the top of my head. Heal Ghana, teach Ghana, feed Ghana, digitize Ghana, civic Ghana. I know them off the top of my head. And I can tell you what the objective of the NAPCO thing was. So today, if it has hit a snag, we are not seeing Dr. Anyas. The Minister for Employment and Labor Relations is not talking to you. The Deputy Chief of Staff now says they are going to understand the problem that they created 
to be able to solve it. And we are asking questions and you decide that a few of you who are still loyal to the rot will be insulting us. God bless you. But your colleagues are the ones who are not angry enough. And as KKD said, you are only walking around because it is legal to shoot you. Because you are the cause of their problems. They make progress and you make them retrogress. Listen, their monies are stuck. Again, it says uh, for all who remained at post beyond October 2021. Now, guess what? You expect me to stay at post. I do not have transport to take me to work and back from work. And so I stay at home. And I, this caveat, I think, is so unfair. It is not my fault that I didn't want to go to job, to work. You decided that you were not going to pay me the stipends that was going to help me. 699. Yesterday, I did a calculation. If you look at the infraction, the three ghost names that were identified at the finance ministry, totaling over 1,118,000 Ghana, Ghana cities. It could pay up to 1,000 400, 500 NAPCO beneficiaries a month. Three people only got that. Now I'm saying that if you are giving the people the money, do you think that they would, the youth are so lazy and so irresponsible that they would have stayed at home and not come to work? So then you stab them, you keep their monies away from them, you don't provide any alternative means of transport, and then you come and put here that while you are trying to conclude on the financial arrangement, anybody who didn't remain at post beyond October 2021 will not be getting the money. Hey, remember me. Remember me. Is this how you want to, the youth to, be, to, to remember you? Remember me. My livelihood depends on you. My education depends on you. Remember me. Why are we this wicked to ourselves? When this started, we told you that this is not sustainable. You use this as an election tool to win votes. Now, I say send your men to the ground. Speak to them individually because me, they come to me every day. They will tell you the pain they are going through. Their landlords are chasing them out. They can't pay their children's school fees. They can't feed. They can't pay electricity bills. They can't pay water bills. They can't even get money to transport themselves to go and do pa pa pa. There is pressure in this town. Now, it says, we appreciate your time and growth while with us on the scheme and would like to extend our best wishes to you on your future career choices. NAPCO Secretary, August 31, 2022. Now, with all the situation that is happening, and it's not only the NAPCO uh, beneficiaries. I mentioned earlier that this is homecoming. So the national service is ended as well. Youth in community protection assistance ends today. Over 12,000 beneficiaries are going home to what? National service, about 100,000 graduates are going home to what? NAPCO, 67,000, they are going home to what? Youth in school support module, it ends today. What are they going home to? That's the, pop, that's the point I'm raising. Remember me. Remember me. And you know, it's painful. This young, I feel for this young man. Who, I don't know who convinced him to put his face up there, but I feel for him. I feel for him. I feel for him. And you see, up until this time, you would notice that the IMF conversation we were told, oh, president had made a call to IMF to come and give us balance of payment support, da, 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 da. and then later the finance ministry follows it up with, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a press release or a letter that's suggesting that the conversation has started. We were told that IMF will come in between. We were told by certain ministers that if we go to IMF, it's a small, small boys that will be sent. Okay, IMF comes and goes. But where is the national update, the daily updates the, to the people? Where is it? Because they, it, all of these problems that we're talking about, these problems, it is the IMF program eh, that when we kick started will help us. I feel pity for this lady too. I don't know who convinced her. There's a farmer. There's another school girl. There's a woman, an elderly woman. I feel bad. So where is our IMF program? 
Because if we, now they say we are getting homegrown, homegrown solution, homegrown solution, homegrown program. Where is it? Because I've not seen it. I doubt you have seen it. And we tend to do everything in secrecy. So that, manye, manye, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can. And then eventually it hits a snag. We need at this point to come to the center. We need people. Look at old women and old woman at the recent, recent Independence Day. They said we refuse to be led by the NDC. Napco is better. An old woman left her grandchildren and children to come and support this. Napco has been the game changer. Thank you, MPP. Napco has helped us to establish our business. Now they are helping, they are saying go and start a business. You are crying. E Levy will help solve our problems. And it says, well, our dear uh, MPs, Napco trainees says, pass the E-Levy for a better Ghana. E-Levy was passed. You see, the hypocrisy in this country is too much. The hypocrisy in this country is too much. So, to solve all these problems, we are told that going to IMF will help us. Some economists have told us that going to IMF is not a panacea. But, question... Why, why does it look like the IMF conversation is not going forward? Two, where is the IMF program? Three, what are the details of the IMF program? And four, do we have any homegrown IMF program at all? Where are the national updates? The people should be updated. You should keep the pace up with the people. These are all concerns that are on my mind because all these NAPCO issues, the youth in protection assistance, all, every, all of them that are going home. We say when IMF comes, we will get some breathing space. Thankfully, the city is beginning to, to gain some strength. I, it's the $750 million that came in. Even that before it landed, the $750 million minus something equals something. At every point, we are looking sharp. Now it says, in this year's Ejuma budget, I gave an indication that the new employment scheme will be launched to tackle the issues of the growing numbers of graduates existing out of a tertiary institution with no job placement inside. This new initiative is the Nation Builders Corps, simply referred to as NAPCO. Anana Akufuado. NAPCO. Anyene. I want us to be de determined about this because, you see, with all this terrorism conversation, see something, say something, we generate hashtag. We go and put slave queens and make them ambassadors. See something, say something. Hashtag, we create it. With all these conversations, with all the issues around the immigration service, around our borders. And, and I tell you, the, instead of those advising Mr. Techi to, to be attacking people, they should help him to answer the questions that we have put up. Questions that I have put up. They should answer the questions, the nagging questions that I have put up. They should answer it. Because if our borders are porous, it affects tourism. Our borders are porous, it affects our income generation. Our borders are porous, it affects tourism. And it affects security. If you have these numbers of young people in a place that has been surrounded by uh, so-called terrorists, you are making them susceptible because an, a hungry person will do anything to survive if they won't get angry. It's a serious matter. Danny, we're wrapping up. There are two letters that I quickly want to pay attention to on our Let the Retirees Go campaign. And I say, Monday will be my birthday, 5th September. I have given them up to the end of this week. Yesterday, somebody called me and said, oh, Friday, don't do it. I said, okay. Monday is my birthday. It will be my birthday present. Head of Civil Service. Letter dated 11th of January, 2022. I'm just reading the letter. I won't say anything. If it concerns you, you deal with it appropriately. Request for extension of secondment, Miss Cecilia Ezwa, director. Please reference letter number NIA dated uh, 10 December 2021 on the above subject. The Office of the Head of Civil Service has noted your request for extension of secondment of Miss Cecilia Ezwa. This office is willing to extend Miss Ezwa's secondment to the National Identification Authority as a technical advisor. Uh, we don't have Ghana cards. Based on the fact that she has exhausted the constitutionally limited period of five years of post-retirement contracts in the civil service, which means that the person is 60 years, has gotten five years of contract, and is still asking for extension when the young people are at home. 
However, given her rich expertise, which is critically needed by the NIA to undertake a number of crucial activities, this office highly recommends that the NIA grants her an engagement contract as a technical advisor accordingly. County of Corporation, Nanake uh, Ajekum Jamina, head of civil service. And so this person I understand is a lawyer. This person I understand is an HR person. But constitutionally, the five years that is allowed for contract extension has been over and done with. And we are still asking for extension. We are creating an old people's brigade when the young people are hungry and empty. Danny, there's a second letter from the education office. Pull it for me. Signed by Professor uh, uh, Opokwa Mankwa. Uh, it says, in 1st August 2022, Mr. Anthony Boat in Ghana Education Service, HQ. It says, compulsory retirement under Social Security and National Insurance Trust NIT pension scheme. Mr. Anthony Boatin, Deputy Director General, staff ID 258004. And the GES has not spoken about the scam of somebody trying to change their date of birth. Mr. Sumadu, they have to speak to it. And OSP has to take an interest in it. If he committed it, he should go to jail. I refer to your letter dated 17 July 2022. We wish to acknowledge that you entered the Ghana Education Service, GES, on the 1st of September 1987. Most of the Naku people were not born then. As a professional teacher, 1987, with Digan Asikache. By dint of hard work, you rose through the ranks as a superintendent and as a classroom teacher to become a Deputy Director General of Education. In your career, you worked at the GES Council Secretariat, rising to become the Acting Secretary to the Council, Head of Legal Unit, Director for HRMD, Director for Special Education, and ultimately became the Deputy Director General in charge of Management Service. By constitutional provision, you were to retire from the Ghana Education Service with effect from 16th August 2020. You were granted post-retirement contract by His Excellency the President from 17th August 2020, which is expected to end on the 16th of August 2022. SNIT is responsible for a retirement benefit, which means he's getting it, and he's been getting it since 2020. The management and the entire Ghana Education Service Fraternity wish to congratulate you and appreciate you on your immense contribution to education service delivery in Ghana. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Accept our congratulations. Thank you. Professor Kwesi Opokwa Mankwa, Director General. So, since 1987, you defending that. How old are you? How much of Ghana's money have you chopped? And after 1987, since 1987 to 2020, that is what? Uh, 87 to 97, 97 to 2007, 2007 to 2017, that's 30 years. 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, that's another what? Five years, 35 years. They still want extension. Let the retirees go. Good morning.